I started off um, fairly uh, nervous because it was my really first time to tutor a team to travel outside the country for a moot court competition. It, w it was actually also my first time uh, to tutor them um, uh, to compete as lawyers. And so it was such an experience because we started off really like groping in the dark and at the end of it all we were really happy with uh, the output uh, that we were able to achieve. We started by inviting students who would be interested in the moot court competition to come for uh, mock, uh, essentially mock trials on the problem. Uh, this year we had over 20, around 25, 26 students who each has to come and appear before a panel of um, tutors or lecturers like myself and luckily for this year we had the two students who had appeared the previous year so they were uh, they actually constituted our panel because they knew the standards that were required and the level of commitment that was there so once we uh, we did the selection process uh, sieved through the 20 something um, students and were able to rank them from the first to um, the, the top 10 really and then um, sieved through the team as well to see those ones with the desire and, and, and the commitment that is needed to engage in this exercise. I literally told the students that they would have to give it their all if they wanted to make uh, a contribution. Um, we met twice a week uh, at the beginning of the week to assign them what materials to to read and the feedback of what they had read from the previous week and then the other one was at the end of the week on Fridays in the morning we would always meet to try and see if they were having challenges and problems uh, and issues that they were not able to understand um, about about the problem so we, it was a lot of commitment on the part of the students to do the readings outside and also um, part of on, on me as well they were able to build their confidence in arguing and in presenting arguments. They were able to identify um, the signals when the listeners or the judges were uh, not getting their points across and um, it really enhanced their litigation skills. Uh, one of them actually got hired as uh, a litigation advocate even before he graduated from school this year. I gave um, the problem to the students first and I expect that them within a week to present to me a draft um, uh, argument sort of on what the key issues they had they themselves had identified from the um, from the problem from there on then um, w I would look through I, I would guide them through the arguments and tell them that this one would pr present uh, logical challenges and that others would be a lot more uh, a lot easier to uh, to present or a little a little bit more convincing I actually the biggest pitfall is um, reading extensively without centering or focusing on what the problem is all about and that's a very thin line because you have to read extensively also to understand the contours of uh, the law but also not to deviate away from the facts um, and sometimes freedom of expression presents some really interesting germane issues that can easily divert away from what the, the problem was but getting the materials um, and reading them and the time commitment uh, really being on track are some of the key challenges. We started with looking at the issues that arise in freedom of expression in fundamental rights and freedoms. We do not have, as an institution, we do not have a specific unit on media law or um, media law and communication. So our entry point was actually on constitutional law, uh, more specifically uh, fundamental rights and freedoms, and to one of the specific subject areas, which was uh, freedom of expression. And the beginning point was to identify at least the um, key issues or the key materials that the students would have to have as the core texts and these are obviously the uh, UN major documents. Um, for our institution, because we do not have a specific focus again on um, media law and, and communication, we looked at the materials from the freedom of expression. And again, uh, in Africa, uh, or at least in Kenya, Eldoret, right in the middle of the, uh, of, of, of the, the country, 
the much of the material we had were actually internet based materials so on the one hand i had to do the uh, searches computer searches personally um, and direct the students to the appropriate uh, websites or to the appropriate institutions that they could obtain those materials and read them as well it was very useful because um, the level of technological developments that are uh, uh, that, that are advancing in, in, in Kenya uh, presents almost the key challenges that the, the problem uh, was presenting. So, um, on the one hand, we had the uh, fundamental rights issue. On the other hand, we lived in a contemporary society where only barely five years ago, the same if not similar um, political and social indicators or the social problems that were presented in some of the problem was actually something that the students lived with. So they were able to relate to those problems uh, in, without even having to explain it to them. The, the beauty of this competition is that on the first day, um, or literally on the second day, the, the students are given memorials of the other teams and that is really the first point of uh, reality check. The reality check that yes there are others who have also done their research extensively and that the level of the competition is very high. Uh, but what I told the students uh, or what was very important with them was that uh, to build their confidence in them that they have done their best and they should present their best. Uh, and, and that is what um, carried them through. The Faculty of Law, Oxford University, has a tremendous history in, um, in, in scholarship of the legal matters. And honestly, for, it was my first time to travel to the United Kingdom and to the home of basically uh, English law, the, the, the home of English jurisprudence. And so it's one of those experiences that uh, for a lecturer, uh, for a tutor, and for the students, really amounts to a, a one in a lifetime experience. Visiting this city, beautiful city, um, the medieval buildings and so beautifully kept. It's, um, it, it's, it's a very beautiful city. So being here and being able to um, coordinate a network with some of the best professionals in, the, in, in legal matters is a huge bonus.